Hi everyone, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video on medical tourism. Today I'll be responding to someone who is in the early stages of launching a medical travel company and is seeking advice on how to name their startup. So the email starts off, Hi, I'm interested in launching a medical tourism company and I came across your website. I see that you help startups in a lot of different areas, but I wanted to know if you also help pick our company name and our domain name. Okay, so let's go over some essential tips to keep in mind when coming up with a business and domain name for your company. Ideally, your website domain name should be the same as your company name, but this isn't always possible, which brings me to my first topic, domain extensions. Now, a domain extension is the end of a domain name that comes after the main address. For example, it would be .com or .net or .org, or if it's a country-specific domain extension, it could be something like .uk, which stands for the United Kingdom, or .ca, which stands for Canada, or .mx, which stands for Mexico. These are country-specific uh, domain extensions. So while there's a wide range of domain extensions you can choose from, I always recommend using .com if it's available for your business name. And the reason for this is .com is the most trusted domain extension around the world. And it's the most widely used by businesses around the world. And it's the best option to attract medical tourists from different countries to your website. And the next point I want to touch on that you want to keep in mind when creating your business name or when you're creating your domain name for your website is to keep it short. Try to keep it as short as possible. Sometimes it can be a challenge keeping your business name or domain name short, but having a short domain name reduces the risk of people having typos when they type in your domain name it also makes it easier for people to remember your business name and domain name so try to keep it short or as short as possible uh, when creating your business name and your domain name also if you find this information helpful make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when we post educational videos on medical tourism in the future okay so the next topic i want to touch on is why you shouldn't add numbers or hyphens in your business name or in your domain name. So one reason I recommend avoiding numbers and hyphens in your domain name is because it makes it more complex and it makes it harder to remember. They also increase the likelihood of someone mistyping your domain name as well. Okay, so the next topic I wanna go over is adding keywords in your domain name and in your business name. So it's important to include key terms and keywords in your domain name uh, as well as in your company name. Uh, to signify what you specialize in. So for example, if you coordinate trips for people who want dentistry abroad, and that's the sole thing you do, then you wanna add key terms like dental tourism or dental travel, uh, things to signify uh, what you do and what you specialize in. And these are also terms that people type into search engines and it'll make your website easier to, uh, to rank on Google and other search engine platforms and help you drive traffic to your website. But it's really important that you add keywords and key terms in your domain name um, and in your business name so people can find you easier online through search engines. So I wanted to add a topic for people who target one specific country. So let's say you're not sending people to multiple different destinations. You have this one destination that you wanna promote and that you wanna send patients to. Um, if this is the case, if your company is only focusing on sending patients to one destination, you might want to consider adding that destination in your domain name or in your company name. Adding the country's name in your domain name and in your company name can really help you drive targeted traffic to your website from search engines. Because when people go to Google or Bing or whatever search engine they might use and type in medical tourism in your specific country and your website talks about that topic and it's in your domain name, you're more likely to end up at the top of those search results, which is gonna help you get more traffic and it's gonna make it more likely that people click on your website versus your competitors. So that's the video. I wanna thank you for watching this short video. If you need assistance starting or growing a medical tourism agency, I'm gonna leave a link below to our programs as well as to my contact information. But thanks again and I hope you have a good day.